Cats are small, furry, and cute animals that everyone loves. But how does the fertilization process in embryo formation occur? This is the unfertilized egg, also known as the ovulum. Unfertilized mature eggs are usually not released from the ovaries until mating. When it is time to mate, the unfertilized egg will be released and will wait until one sperm cell comes to the egg to fertilize it. This is the fertilized egg, also known as a zygote. It is about 0.13 millimeters in diameter. The fertilized ovulum is surrounded by a tough transparent membrane called zona pellucida. It is penetrated by the sperm during fertilization. Ovulation and fertilization occurs about 24 through 30 hours after mating. After this, cleavage begins. This is where the fertilized egg begins mitotic division within the oviduct. Each cleavage yields two blastomeres of about half the size of the parent cell. The cell division occurs every 10 to 14 hours. This occurs slower in cats than in other mammals. After 64 hours of division, there will be about two to eight cells or blastomeres. After 76 to 100 hours of division, there will be about 8 to 16 cells or blastomeres. After all the cell divisions are complete, there will be an early embryo that is a compact mass of about 16 cells or blastomeres called the marula. The marula is made up of two different types of cells, outer cells and inner cells. Marulae appear in about 124 hours post-copulation in cats and are still within the oviduct. Compacted marulae appear within 148 hours post-copulation and have migrated into the uterus. A post-marula pre-implantation mammal embryo that develops from a 32 cell stage into a fluid-filled hollow ball of over 100 cells is called a blastocyst. A blastocyst has two distinctive tissues. The outer layer of trophoblast gives rise to extra embryonic tissues. The inner cell mass gives rise to the embryonic disc and eventual embryo proper. First blastocysts occur within 148 hours or approximately 6 days after copulation. Gastrulation is an early phase of embryological development in which the implanted bascula develops in three distinct germ layers, the ectoderm, the endoderm, and the mesoderm. During gastrulation, the blastocell made of the inner cell mass in the outer ring of cells called the trophoblast, migrates to the outside of the endometrium, which is the mucous membrane lining the uterus. It then enters through the endometrium and inside the uterus. The inner cell mass then turns into two different types of cells called the hypoblast and the epiblast. The hypoblast is also known as the endoderm, and the epiblast is also known as the ectoderm. The hypoblast and the epiblast then begin to migrate up within the blastocell. Then the mesoderm begins to form between the endoderm and the ectoderm. In addition, the placenta begins to form around the outside of the blastocyst. The mesoderm then begins to form around the endoderm, ectoderm, and the inner layer of the blastocyst. Next, the three germ layers begin to shape and mold into the fetus and each germ layer is responsible for making certain parts of the body. The ectoderm makes up the skin, 
and eventually the brain, spinal cord, and the pituitary gland. The endoderm makes up the lungs, digestive system, the liver, and the pancreas. The mesoderm makes up the muscular skeletal system, the excretory system, and the reproductive system. These three germ layers, which make up the fetus, will obtain nutrients and oxygen from the mother through the placenta and the cells will grow and divide until a cute kitten is born.